Cancer, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment, and then we will take a look into the events coming up for you in the next few months. Let's start with your main energy. Okay, I love this one. Our first message today is a win-win outcome is forecast. You are in a situation that right now might feel like a crossroad. Something or someone that you cannot fully decide on, cannot fully make up your mind on, because you might be afraid that you're going to regret your choice in a way or another. Whereas instead, we see that the outcome is actually the opposite. No matter what you do right now, no matter if you decide to go left or right, decide to leave or to stay, this is going to work out in your favor eventually. Yes, there is a crossroad right now, but what you don't know is that the two roads are actually going to meet again, merge together and become one once more. What is the situation about and where is this road taking you? Let's look into it and let's start with your reading. Okay. I got the magician. I just did the Pisces reading and it was here as well, but it was upright. Interesting. Okay, what's going on? All right. You know, okay, now I get it. Magician reversed and the Six of Wands, Four of Cups up there. I see someone who is putting up a performance here. Someone who's trying to manipulate the situation a little bit, acting in a way that it's very different from what they actually feel. Keep in mind that energies go both ways. This could be you or someone around you, someone you're thinking about. But overall, we see here someone who's trying to not reveal something to the other person pretending that they're living their best life, whereas instead, they feel very differently inside. Especially considering the Six of Wands, I see someone on a stage, as you see right here. Someone who is acting as though they have it all, but underneath the surface, deep down, they're actually looking into the crowd in order to see if they're going to spot you somewhere. Is my cancer person looking at me? Are they thinking about me? I cannot speak of the reasons why they do this yet, but what I see so far is clearly someone who has way more to tell you than what they're actually telling you right now. Someone whose vision is way broader than the one that they revealed to you so far at least. This could easily be someone who ended up ghosting you. We see it with the Four of Cups, someone blocking the other person, someone just disappearing, or someone who is downplaying their feelings, this Ace of Cups right here, and treating this connection as something optional. Perhaps someone who ended up changing their overall approach towards this situation as well, but clearly right here, they're trying to trigger something in you. They're trying to maybe see a reaction from you which could bring them some clarity while not being in a position which would make them too transparent, you know? Someone who acts as though they're not really interested in what you do and who you're with, but who low-key instead spies on you. So right now, they might be performing and working hard to downplay their own feelings and expectations, but these energies, they are hard to control. Definitely possible 
But this is not a, a comfortable position, the hangman. And it takes just a little mistake, a little loss of control in order to actually show what's really going on. And I feel that some information about the truth is actually going to be revealed to you somehow. Why? This is why. The Knight of Cups reversed. And this hangman right here as well. I love when the hangman comes up while having a card in reverse because it's really showing us how easy it is to see the truth, how accessible the truth actually is if you know where to look, if you know how to read in between the lines, and if you know how to read someone's actions or lack of actions as well. The Knight of Cups is definitely someone with a strong attraction, someone who deep down is actually very romantic and who loves affection, loves to show affection as well. This can easily be a person who has a tendency to live in the clouds, who has this idea of perfection when it comes to love. And perhaps in their mind, you have to make a move right now. You have to show them something that perhaps you haven't showed them yet, but that they desperately need in order to come forward and perhaps reveal a little piece of their love for you, which you haven't seen yet. This is someone who can easily trick themselves in thinking that you have done or said something that might push them away. But listen, at the end of the day, they can do or say whatever they want, but this person is crazy about you, Cancer. As far as you go, honestly, what I see, what I see right here, is that their games are not really working on you. Nine of Pentacles. Cancer people do not like mind games, waiting games, games in general. You appreciate people who are honest, transparent, because that's how you build trust. When someone plays games instead, it makes you feel as though they have something to hide. It makes you feel as though if this is how they handle stress, then if you ever have a real issue, how are they going to handle the situation? By pretending that they're having the best time of their life? I don't know, it just doesn't sound exciting for you at all. And I see you here really protecting your independence working on yourself and not really going out of your way for someone who's not going out of their way for you. And we see right here, two of swords, exactly that decision, that crossroad that you find yourself in front of. But obviously you're not going left, you're not going right, you're not deciding what to do yet, you're thinking about the situation for now. And don't forget that sometimes trust needs to be built brick by brick and that some people once they get to a point of full trust they do change and act completely different free from a burden free from fears and insecurities is it going to be the the case for this person right here and so cancer what should you expect from this situation in the near future i do see love i do see love coming towards you soon after all there is love, there is happiness, there is an overall resolution here. Is it going to be with this person or someone new? We'll have to see. But overall, this is a new beginning, which given the Ace of Cups, it's going to be a clear, transparent and honest new beginning. It's exactly what should have happened already with this Four of Cups, where someone was ignoring that Ace of Cups, ignoring how powerful this connection actually is. But now this Four of Cups is replaced by the Four of Wands, and we do see someone who is giving you that cup of love. You are a sucker for people who are able to express their emotions in a healthy way. And this can easily be someone who's going to truly understand that if they want this, they have to start fighting for it. They have to take that performance energy that we've seen earlier and redirect it in a way that it's going to be constructive for the both of you. New beginning in love for you, Cancer. Whether this is a new person or someone from the past who kept lingering around, 
who kept thinking about you even when they pretended that they weren't. Feelings are going to be rediscovered and you should expect the start of an overall emotional chapter in the next few weeks. So let's look into it. Let's see who this person is, their feelings, their real intentions. What's their overall vision at this moment in time? How are they going to come in with this Ace of Cups? And how will this connection end up evolving in the next few months if you will let it happen, obviously? If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Cancer, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute reading. This week, actually, I am going to offer yearly readings as well. We will look month by month what you should expect and the reading will actually be 45 minutes long. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Cancer. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the upcoming events is the Knight of Wands. And here we see that switch. We see how the situation is going from being so secretive, so far from reality, to actually going to show itself for what it really is. And it comes with this Knight of Wands, which talks about an unexpected event someone impulsive, someone who is acting out of an impulse, who doesn't want to pretend anymore, who doesn't want to play games anymore, who just wants to come in fast, with passion, with love, and start something new. This is already a very good sign, but we need to see if this energy, the Knight of Wands, is actually sustainable long term. Because usually when someone comes in so fast, Depending on what they see from you, they might leave fast as well. So let's see what this person is about to do in the near future, what you should expect from them. You have passion and love, whereas before you might have had some deception. Let's see how their energy is changing and what you should expect from them in the next few weeks. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Cups. my god okay all right the situation right here is absolutely clear and we see how this person is about to surprise you on a lot of different levels actually first of all we see the king of cups and the king of wands this is someone who is